Alright, so as you can see, I went to Interbike, which is the world's largest bicycle trade show held in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. Let's take a look. This is a set of non-traditional front suspension forks made by a company called Lauf out of Iceland. Pretty crazy stuff. These have been around for a while, but they're still very cool to check out. This is a belt drive instead of a chain drive. This caught my eye. Obviously it only has one fork in the front and it's a full suspension fork too. You need to ride your bike to work but you don't want to get wet? Buy yourself a bicycle car. Scooters have become really popular. They're really marketed for the last mile commuter. Meaning someone who just needs to go from your front door to the bus stop or subway or uh, wherever you park your car and then ride into the office from a, a short distance. Easy enough. That's got some torque to it too. That's great. I have a crazy uncle and a crazy cousin that actually races one of these types of uh, big wheels down Lombard Street in San Francisco. They drift down that hill and it's just absolutely nuts. Now here's something you don't see every day. It's a recumbent bike. It's a trike. It's got front suspension shocks. It's got rear shocks and it's got disc brakes all around. That's just cool. Here's a weird one. That arch is what you use to uh, push your back up against so your legs will have more force to push down on the pedals. Now here's a serious conversation piece. This bike is actually made out of bamboo, the frame and the rims. Pretty crazy stuff. Have you seen the gold-plated Audi and the gold-plated AK? Well, here's a gold-plated bike. This girl said she had been standing in that bucket of water for at least 30 minutes and her feet were still dry. Check out this Schwinn Grey Ghost. Pretty badass. There was a lot of retro bikes there too. Like these uh, board tracker style bikes. Pretty cool. I was told these were developed for people who don't like to put suntan lotion on their face. It protects you from getting skin cancer. Some bikes were just cool works of design and engineering. This is actually a folding mountain bike made by a company called Montague that they sell to the military and uh, paratroopers use these. I'm infatuated with folding bikes. I think the prepper in me just loves the idea of having a bike stashed away in the back of your car, your truck, your bug out vehicle, your RV or whatever. And if your vehicle runs out of gas or it gets disabled or breaks down, you can just unfold the bike and ditch the car and keep on going down the road at a pretty uh, fast pace. And I like that. It's just a cool idea. Look how small this little tiny folding bike was. That was just cool. So how long does it take to fold up? Wow, look at that. Very compact. And of course, everybody had to have a motor attached to their small folding bike. Here's a pretty cool looking one. This little electric bike can fold up into a backpack. Another style of bike that I'm really infatuated with is cargo bikes. They're really big in Europe, like Amsterdam, and they're starting to become popular here in the United States. And they're really cool because you can carry two kids and all your groceries if you don't want to use your car all the time. This is our Travoy. This is a folding cargo bike trailer that attaches to the seat post of your bike so you don't have to keep a rack on your bike. And then when you add an electric motor to it, it basically turns your cargo bike into a work truck. You can carry some of your family and all their gear 20 miles if you had to or go up hills. No problem. And then there's the fat tire bike craze. There had to be more than 20 manufacturers of fat tire bikes and I loved it. You know why? Because fat tire bikes to me are like the Jeeps of bicycles. They got these big fat tires that can go over snow and sand and uh, they were originally designed to go over snow but now people are outfitting these things to be expedition bicycles that can go absolutely anywhere and you can put all kinds of gear on them. And then when you add electric motors to these things they basically become motorcycles that you can recharge. 
All right, so here we go. We're gonna take the outlaw out. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Much like, uh, it's like riding a motorcycle with this thing. Just hit the throttle and you go. That's pretty cool.